Welcome to the 10th video in Indie Resources, how to make a browser based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla. Sorry for the long break. Uh, hard drive failed on this thing and I just now got it all back up and going. So uh, let's get started. The, what I want to do in this video is, is kind of tie up a loose end with the gold. Uh, I want to do this live while we do it. None of the, that way you got, because I'm good about errors. I constantly mistype something so or I do something wrong so we can kind of see it live happen instead of the normal way we've been doing it so uh, the first uh, what I kind of noticed is you know when we go to visit store you can go to buy all you want and you can just sit there and buy all day long and we, we kind of need to change that so first thing let's do is go into our database and go into your players table and let's go to structure and we're basically just going to change it to where it tells you how much gold you have and then when you buy stuff so let's go to add one field and let's just add the field and call it gold and that'll make it uh, simple for us so let's just name it gold we're gonna keep it an integer and let's just give it 11 values in case somebody wants to play this for 12 days straight and collect money until they have millions and now we have the gold the next thing we want to do let's go ahead and browse to our player and let's give our player a little bit of gold so we have something to something to do with here I'm not going to give them a whole bunch that way we can test it to make sure that it works when they buy it and if they don't have enough money that we can say hey you don't have enough money so let's just edit the player and I apologize for the slowness I'm on a crappy machine right now but the good thing about browser based games is you don't need a big machine to do this at all okay once we've added I added 50 gold to them so let's go back here and the first thing to do, let's let's let the player know how much gold they got. And and later on, I'm going to add a little player, cool little player thing here that shows all the information. But for now, I'm just going to put the gold right here. So, in order to do that, let's go to I don't even have it open yet. Let's open up context. Let's open up our index.php so we can actually add the gold amount there. So let's go file, open, and let's open up our index. Okay, at the very bottom. Let's uh, let's create a new div tag. Let's do it by the div tag. Yeah, div id equals, and let's call it gold. Just so we don't get it confused. If you call it money or something, you'll end up getting it confused. Um, PHP, and we just want to echo. Let's let's make it bold. Let's make it big, and let's underline it. And we're just going to say gold. Oops, gold. And let's end our underline, end our big, and end our bold. Something I'm noticing that's going to happen, and I'm going to go ahead and let it happen, but we're going. this is going to end up turning into a link because of this up here, but I want to kind of show you what happens in case you don't know. The next thing we want to echo is, whoops, I didn't close that off or anything. Got to talking. Uh, echo player info three so three gold and we need a member to put single quotes and let's we need to make sure to break line that too otherwise it's going to end up all in one line and the next thing we're going to do is end our PHP and then make sure to close your div tag. And let's save that. Now we need to open up our style.css to actually add the gold div tag. And you're probably going to have to go to all files to make it show. And style.css. And you can do what I do and I just copy and paste. Usually it just makes it a lot easier. As long as you remember to change all the information. So let's call this gold and let's give it a left of about 600 and a top of about 300 we're gonna change this later but we just need something there we don't need this that long so let's just change it to like 150 and let's just do 100 save that and let's see what that looks like on our index if I remembered everything there we go now you see how it's a link we don't want that and what has happened is, is if you go back to your index we never ended this link here and it doesn't look like I did it in many places so you just put that A there save it refresh and it should end that link there we go and you may want to center this a little better I'm just gonna do this to get by so we have 50 gold the next thing we want to do is, is we when we go to visit store we want to also want to be able to tell the player how much gold they have so 
uh, I don't recommend this uh, well this will be fine for now but probably the next video we're gonna change this but I'm gonna go ahead and put the gold in the same place if we were to have like 15 items here then your gold's gonna be in the way so actually let's do this let's look at our index real quick yeah let's go ahead and move it over here that way it's out of the way let's go back to our style sheet and let's change it to uh, left of 200 and top of 200 and that will and then now we need to open up our store.php and all we need to do here to make it real simple just copy and paste I mean, we could actually even use an include file here if we wanted to, and I should have did that just to make this just for more training. But we'll do it later. And now, if we go to refresh, it'll be over here. And as you see here, we're also missing another end link. So we just do this and refresh. And I'm kind of running out of time on this video. I didn't want to make it too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry up and get this done. Next thing we need to do is we need to be able to ooh I didn't mean to do that we need to be able to go to buy we need to be when we buy it we need it to minus off our gold so if you look here it's under our buy item let's see yeah buy item.php so let's open up buy item.php and looking at this I see well we'll actually be alright putting it right here make sure you put this under after all the variables have been put in that way when we go to column the first thing we want to do is if player info 3 which I've forgotten my three gold we just wanted to check to see is less than the money or less than the price item info 3 I'm pretty sure we named it price. Oh. Open our bracket. Let's go ahead and close it just to have it there. Uh, then we want to say echo you do not have enough gold for this. Purchase. Make sure to scream at them so they know what we're talking about. And the next thing we want to do is we want to give them a link out of here so they're not stuck there. And I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. Because I'm running out of time. And then we want to exit so it doesn't run any more code. Next thing we want to do is we need to update the player. I don't see any update player and I'm going to show you a quick way of doing this. If we open up our attack.php we've already got an update query in there. And there it is right there. Go back to our buy item. And let's put it under item bot. Update player set gold equals uh, item info three. I'm kind of doing this backwards. Bear with me. Price. Gold equals gold minus item input three price. If we run and test this out real quick, it could, I could be wrong here. I may have messed something up. I'm just going to refresh so it we know everything's right. I'm going to go to buy item. It says it's purchased. That means we should have tw what 20 gold left. Yeah, we only have 20 gold left. Now let's try to buy it again real quick. Buy item it should tell us you do not have a gold enough gold for this purchase. Go back and we didn't get the item. So there you go.